Hey guys, I'm Nathan Prather, and today on Astronomy 360, we're going to be talking about narrowband light pollution filters. There are several different types of narrowband light pollution filters. There are oxygen-3 light pollution filters, hydrogen-alpha light pollution filters, and hydrogen-beta light pollution filters. Oxygen-3 light pollution filters target the narrow slot along the light, light spectrum that is the blue-green um, wavelengths of light. So, that would be targeted at mainly the outer planets and maybe also the um, bands on Jupiter, the cloud bands on Jupiter. So they would help with Uranus and Neptune, especially the sky blue hue of Neptune. That would help bring out more subtle detail. Um, the hydrogen alpha light pollution filters would help on Mars and... Um, also Jupiter, because both Mars and Jupiter are reddish-orange planets. So that would um, help illuminate more subtle detail, like maybe polar ice caps on Mars, subtle um, distinctions in the cloud bands, the variations in color, and on Jupiter it would help highlight, again, the cloud bands, um, maybe help somewhat with the great red spot, although that's more of a elevation and light pollution problem than anything else. Um, so that's a general overview of light pollution filters. Now, where to get all these? The best place to buy light pollution filters, in a lot of filters, really, I found is um, Lumicon. They make all types of filters, and they have really good light pollution filters. Um, also another bit of news, I don't know if anyone watched the Geminids meteor shower, but it was the best it's ever been. It's actually intensifying. It's going to be intensifying by 20 meteors a year for however long it does this. Uh, it's parent asteroid 3200 Faith and actually completed a close approach today. It's at its closest. It'll be since 1973 and until 2093. Uh, so it's at extremely close to Earth, and it's really relatively good to view in telescopes. So um, it'll be at magnitude 10.1, so relatively far off. It'll be kind of hard to see, but it's still definitely something to take a look at. So this has been a guide to light pollution filters.